Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone. On this Friday, we finally made it to the beginning of the weekend. Let's celebrate, huh? We're looking at a radar. Not much to show you here. Maybe an isolated shower well off the Tampa Bay coast here. But other than that, a few scattered showers around the panhandle. And that's it. Everything is quiet on the radar. Could have a few showers develop inland later on this afternoon. Right now, we're walking out to a beautiful temperature of 78 degrees, 80 here in Venice, 80 in Inglewood, 83 in Cortez, a little cooler in Arcadia at 75 degrees. But air is muggy because we have that westerly wind now. Area of high pressure that we were tracking in the beginning of the week was to the northeast of Florida on the east side. It has slipped to the south and west, and now we're getting that return flow around it. Along with an area of low pressure to our north, two spinning wheels bringing in that muggy air off the Gulf of Mexico. Also, that westerly wind will help carry the smell of the red tide a little bit further inland. So that's not a good situation for us. Future cast shows, well, the westerly wind igniting the sea breeze convergence further inland. So as we go through the later afternoon hours, you can see a few showers develop in our inland counties and then get pushed eastward. Now, as far as the rest of the tropics, we had a tropical storm yesterday that was Debbie. That is no longer. It's gone. And all the tropics here are quiet. It's a little unusual this time of the year as we start to ramp up into the peak of the season. But we've never had such cooler water since back in 1982 here where the main development happens at this time of the year. Only temperatures in the 70s for the water temperature in the, uh, the Atlantic just above the equator. And as far as... And the, the temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico right now in the Caribbean, they're very warm. So if anything gets going and the upper level atmospheric conditions are just right with no upper level wind shear, we could have a big problem. But fortunately right now, we do have upper level wind shear and nothing is occurring at this time. And that looks to at least be the case for the next five days. So fingers crossed, right? 90 will be our high today. It's going to be another warm and humid day for us. Expect mostly sunny skies for most of the day, becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon. And then for the forecast for the next several days, rain chance does increase for our Saturday and Sunday. I think in the evening hours, we're talking about late in the evening hours after midnight, these clouds should start to break apart and we'll be able to see the Perseid meteor shower, which will be a good thing. And then for the back to school day next Monday, uh, partly cloudy skies, but a little more shower activity will develop inland. That'll be the case for the next few days as we get into early to mid next week. And then later in the uh, week of next week, looks like the shower chance will be on the increase. But as you can see, our highs will top out in the upper 80s, low 90s, and that's average for this time of the year.